Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this slider option type. So here you can see I can change the value in this slider and you can see this something like progress bar reflect the change in the value and also value is shown literally in the middle. So we are going to use uh, widgets and common UI widgets. So yeah, this is what we are going to work on today. So this is another type of a sub widget that I would need when I want to implement, when I'm going to implement this options panel, option menu system. All right, so before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you will be able to access everything without any limits. So feel free to check it out. And here is the full playlist of this series. I'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description. Everything is explained and implemented from scratch. Okay, so first let's go to the sub widgets and create a new widget. So interface, widget blueprint. So we don't really need to choose anything from the common here. So I'll just pick user widget and I'll call this WBP slider. Okay, and here I'll add a common border. Don't need any pad. And here's the style. I'll assign the style that we already have. And underneath this, let's add a horizontal box. First, we need a text to show the slider's name. So let's add a common text. Let's It like this. Uh, it. Okay. And as the style, I'll choose common text style menu text. Let's call this uh, option name. Change this to a variable. Dt common text option name. Just like the way we have used before. And then let's add a slider. This analog slider. So oh, it's very small here. That should be because I have made this to fill. So I'll wrap this with a size box. And let's see, maybe we should have something like 400. We can adjust this later on. All right. All right, now we have the slider, size box, name. So here, let's change the look of this now. Let's go to the style and here we can see bar thickness let's try something like 20 is that all right i guess and uh, original color maybe the normal lighter bar color let's change make it a bit transparent like this 0.4 Slider handle, but it's wide, that's fine. Which I'll reduce the thickness of this thumb. Size X2. Oh, this should be a 20. And I'll use the same size. For the hover as well. This a little bit thicker. Okay, and I want to highlight 
or I don't want to make this look like a progress bar. If half filled, then this part should be more white and this part should be transparent. So for that, we can do something like this. Let's create a new material. M U I should I call it fill bar fill and I change this to user interface translucent. So let's add a look here. And with this is point two, this is one. And I'll use text code, texture coordinate, and get the x value. Break flow two components. And this, let's put this through a step and use this as this alpha. And if I were to make it point two, you see now only point two amount is filled. The rest is uh, a bit transparent. So we can use this as a parameter. I'll call it percent. So if percent is zero, it's like this. If percent is 0 0.2, like this, 0 0.5. So see, one, it's fully filled. Okay, now this is suitable for the material of the slider but if i just assign it here now you see it does work but we have no way of accessing this and updating the value therefore that's not the way i want to assign it we need to assign it through up to the code and keep a reference to the assigned material so here in the pre-construct Slide style get style and we can break this and get the normal bar image set members in select brush. Here we can expose the image. Now into this image, we can assign a dynamic material. Let's create dynamic material instance using MUI bar fill material. Let me promote this to a variable. I'll call this PM because dynamic material. DM slider fit. Okay. And assign it as this image. Can I use two? No, I can't. So I may have to use, apply the same material to the Howard by image as well. Disabled, I don't think so because I'm not planning to use the disabled one. So even if it is if it is disabled, then it would be already not visible or something. Okay, now yeah, let me promote this to function. Collapse to function. Let's call it initialize uh wider materials. Okay. Now, in the slider, we have this on value changed. And here we can access the percentage. This would be a value between 0 and 1. So here, we can get this dynamic material and set scalar parameter value. We'll set with the value. Now compile. 
So it's not updating here. That's because this on value changed is not updated. But if I can I call this on value change? No. Well, by default, no. Let's see. Now let's add this slider to one of our menus. Oh, before that, we need a way to change this. So option name. Let me do that to here. Get the option name. The text. I want to store variable. I'll call it text option name. But just option name. And make it visible. Uh, by default, option name. Okay. All right. Now, let's open one of our widgets. Maybe this option panel. So, here. I'll add the slider, WBB slider, and options. Let me add some padding so that it's clear. I'll call this master volume. Modify duplicate and effects volume so that we have two okay now let's go to the main menu that is here now see it's working but by default we don't really have uh, the values are not there by default See, it's like this. So maybe initially we need some way to assign it. I call set value. No. Well, okay. Default value. Eight point four. Let's see. Yeah, now it's updated. Okay. Uh, why is this moving? Maybe it has something to do with the hovering settings. Let's check. Is it this? Yeah, that was it. But when I hover, I don't really see any difference in the bar. So I can do something for that. Here, let's under the tint of this style normal bar image. If I make it slightly less transparent, and I can keep the hovered bar image to fully alpha to one. Here, a value for alpha. 0.8. Now we should see some change as I hover over the bar like this. All right, so yeah, it's working. And if I need to show a value in the middle, like this, uh, we can add a text here, but we might. We can't add it here because this does not allow more than one widget as the child. So let's wrap this with an overlay. It's the overlay. Yeah, here. 
Okay, now I should be able to. Uh, let's do this. Okay, and add a common text. This also. Oops, not slider. Text. Like this. Uh, okay. Change the text style I can, but I think I want this smaller. And I can't override it while having this. So common text style menu text. Let me duplicate this small. And here I set this to fifty or forty. Now, yeah, this seems better. Uh, fifty. Like this. Maybe now we don't need this thumb image, so we can. Thumb image tint. I will make it fully transparent. Thumb image. That's not visible at all. So it does not conflict with this value. And then here and the on value change. I'll. Oh, we need to make this. Uh, variable text void value and here text slider value split text I connect it directly we have we get this two text now uh, let's do this we can map range clamped in range a and b this is zero and one between and out range i'll set to zero and hundred and use this so 0 to 1 will be changed from 0 to 100 and then minimum integral digits are set to 2 then minimum fractional digits i'll set this to 0 i don't need any fractional digits now let's see how it looks yeah this is better okay cool so that's all i want to do in this episode now we have this cycle button and we have this slider with the value so i don't think we need any different setting type for the menu system so maybe from next point or not uh, we can actually work on actual options for each of these settings types now all i have is just placeholders just only these required types of options so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye